Tony, how long have you been involved in harness racing? Uh, full time, 25 years, yes, yep. And, and where did you start out your trade? Uh, in harness racing was at Alan Devery's. He was a very, very good trainer. Uh, he's retired now, but uh, he was, yeah, a lot of the things he, he taught me, I still stand by today. And did you always know it was going to be a career for you? I think so, yeah. We'd, we'd done, uh, the three boys all done apprenticeships beforehand. Uh, I, I was a panel beater, but no, I was always wanting to get to the horses. And uh, you've got a lovely setup here. How many horses do you have in training? Uh, we're only doing, we're down to about eight now. Uh, Cheryl and I are just doing them, so uh, we, we cut right back for the yearling sales to concentrate on the boys. So, uh, yeah, we, we like to stick around 10 or 12. And on the yearling sales side of things, how many years have you been involved with that? This is our third year sort of full time doing it, uh, just, just with the changes in the industry. Uh, yeah, we wanted to get into the breeding and uh, of course you, yeah, when you get into breeding it doesn't take long to get too many around you, so uh, we've got to flick some on. Is there one horse that you've seen that you would have loved to have been involved with? Uh, Christian Callum. Yeah, I, I still believe he was the best. Yeah, he was a great horse and uh, yeah, still is. And what about for you horses you've been involved with? Uh, yeah, I've had a lot of nice horses, but uh, unfortunately with living in South and we've sold them. Uh, uh, what was his name? Lively Medley was a very good horse. Nebulizer was a good horse. Home First was my first real good horse. He went almost a cup class. He, he actually put me on the map as a trainer, so he was a great horse for me. And outside of the racing game, what do you do to relax? Uh, I watch a lot of league. I love the uh, big Warriors fan. And uh, yeah, a lot of sports. Watch a lot of sports and, and watch a lot of racing. Any hidden talents about you? Uh, no, <laughs> no, nothing, no, no hidden talents, we just, uh, we just tick along here. Yeah. And uh, any aspirations for you in the future? Uh, I'd love to train a Group 1 winner. Uh, my, my aims was always to train a galloping winner, which I've done now, and, and train a Group 1 winner, so that's still on the agenda. And uh, as far as this season goes, I, I've achieved all my goals. I wanted to get to 300 training wins, and we got there. And I wanted to train a winner for my mother and father-in-law, so I've done that too. So, uh, yeah, whatever we get the rest of the season's a bonus. Good on you, Tony. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Jess. How are you, Tony Barron? It was uh, nice to meet him and get to know a bit about him and the team. And he's gone for Addie's Girl uh, at uh, Taranaki on Sunday afternoon for Tony Barron. So thanks, Tony, for passing that 